Kanban has come a long way from its origins to the lean management methodology it is today. So let's take a glimpse into Kanban's rich history. The year is 1603, the Edo period in Japan, where after centuries of military conflict and social upheaval, the country has entered a period of stability and economic growth. During this time, streets became crowded and shop owners had to compete and become creative to grab customer attention. They made signs known as Kanban. Kan meaning sign and bon meaning board. Can you guess what these signs and modern Kanban cards have in common? They both communicate their content clearly and concisely. Now let's fast forward to the 1940s and take a look at the Toyota Motor Company. At this time, Toyota was not doing well. They were making a loss and couldn't compete with American manufacturers. Toyota's answer came in 1943 when industrial engineer Taiichi Ono joined the company. He quickly rose through the ranks, eventually becoming executive vice president. While trying to solve Toyota's problems, he identified and categorized seven kinds of waste known as muda. We'll go into more detail about muda in a future video. After identifying waste in the company, there was still a problem. With changing customer demand and overproduction, how would they know what to produce and when? Taiichi found his answer during a trip to the US where he was inspired by supermarket chain Piggly Wiggly's ability to keep just the right amount of stock. This led him to create a new system he called Kanban, where paper cards were used to signal and track demands in his factory. This system spread through the entire company and Toyota finally began to see success. While giving new meaning to the word Kanban, this method laid the foundation for modern management techniques known as the Toyota production system. Now let's fast forward again, this time to the early 2000s. The success of the Toyota production system led project managers from different industries to attempt the application of its core principles. The most significant breakthrough came from the software industry. Project management and software was shifting from inefficient processes like the CMMI to the Agile approach. Formalized in the Agile Manifesto of 2001, its principles offered general advice but didn't specify how they should be achieved. Several work management systems such as Scrum and Lean Software Development evolved to fill this void and made a significant impact on the future Kanban method. Let's take a look at some of these systems. With Scrum, some teams began using pin boards with user story cards. A member walks up to the board, takes a card, and returns a struck out card when the task is completed. This primitive board system gives some visibility into the progress, allowed for work synchronization, and improved workflow between multiple team members. The Lean software development method, which was influenced by the Toyota production system, introduced concepts such as eliminating waste, mapping the value stream, and pull systems to the software development world. Also, around that time, David Anderson began exploring concepts such as flow, bottleneck, visual control, and cumulative flow diagram. Scrum teams began to incorporate some of these new elements, evolving their scrum boards and giving rise to Kanban-style software development and Kanban boards. This early version solved several of Scrum's shortcomings through ensuring a constant flow of work and making the request to delivery cycle shorter. Kanban's highly structured, visible, and flexible way of managing work was further perfected by teams at Microsoft and Corbis, and pioneers such as David Anderson and Carl Scotland. 2009 was the golden year for Kanban, with several books and articles published. The first Lean Kanban conference organized by David Anderson, the rules of personal Kanban formed by Jim Benson, and the first web-based applications like Kanban Tool coming out. As knowledge and use of Kanban grew, it became apparent that its principles may be applied to any industry with repeatable processes. In 2016, the five principles of Kanban were published by David Anderson. They are visualize workflow, limit work in progress, measure and manage flow, make process policies explicit, and use models to recognize process improvement opportunities. Together with the accompanying Essential Kanban Condensed Book, they formed the basis of the current most popular understanding of the Kanban method. Want to learn more? Check out the link below to learn more about Kanban's history.